brought to you by Bethel School of Technology. Learn more at BethelTech.net slash Ken Coleman. Uh, this is uh, from LinkedIn. And uh, largely this, this notion, this prediction is built on the founder of LinkedIn, Reid Hoffman's latest prediction. Now, just to give you a little context for this, so this doesn't seem, you know, wild and crazy out of left field, uh, he has predicted some pretty amazing things. Uh, the founder of LinkedIn predicted the rise of social media in 1997. We're talking about first one out of the gate. Social media is going to be a big deal, this guy says. People say, what's social media? Well, Reid Hoffman was right. This is 1997. By the way, he sold LinkedIn for $26 billion. Uh, then he predicted and evangelized the idea of the sharing economy. Think Airbnb, uh, Verbo, things of that nature. And also got way out in front of the AI revolution years before chat GPT. So here he comes again. And I give you those predictions because I think you have to pay attention to this. And I don't think this is alarmist at all. I, I think you've got to, this is about awareness. So here's what he's saying. Within a decade, within a decade, 50% of the U.S. population will be freelancers. And he believes they'll make more than traditional employees. So that is a massive shift. Right now, depending on what kind of freelancing work you do, it may not be as lucrative or it may not pay as well as a salaried position. But that is going away, according to Reed Hoffman of LinkedIn fame. Here's why. Specialized skills plus global demand will equal premium rates. This is the formula that Hoffman is saying will lead us into this new wave of work. Specialized skills, so think uh, everything from I'm really good at coding, I'm really good at digital marketing, I'm a digital marketing whiz, as examples, plus the global demand as the global economy continues to grow. You think about where America is right now, just for context, and you think about developing countries, they're going to get there. So, yes, America's way ahead, but the rest of the world is continually catching up. So that global demand and technology and AI being what it is, more on that in a minute, is going to allow someone to take that specialization and charge a premium for it. There is a platform that I've been kicking around because of I read about this article called Brain Trust, and it already lets freelancers keep 100% of their earnings. So think of, you know, it's 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 a uh, it's a, it's a job site if you will. If I want a freelancer and I go and I go to this website, I say I'm looking for a freelance writer, and they are they are offering their services on this platform, and they get to keep 100% of their earnings. So we're already, folks, that is way out in front of how we've been operating. And he goes on to say, your online portfolio will be your new resume. So I want to stop as I give you these predictions and I want to break these down for you because I think this is a lot, but I think you've got to be aware of this. And here's what's interesting. I told my team this two or three years ago. I thought, I think we got to get to the point where we're, where much like an Instagram reel, think 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or TikTok, you essentially have a 60 to 90 second reel or TikTok of your resume. So the traditional resume, you know, a piece of paper, and you email this, uh, a PDF of it, or you walk into the job interview, you show it, the notion here is that's going away. And, and your online portfolio will be your resume. So you will show your work in a online capacity. That's what that means. So some of you are going, okay, uh, I'm a project manager. How do I do that? Well, how would you tell your story in a video form? How would you show your work and your experience in video form or through graphics. That's the idea. 
people aren't going to in Brazil going to pull up and read your line by line resume. They're going to look at you and they're going to say, "Show me in 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 one minute." Three minutes, and let's be honest, if it's a one-minute video or a three-minute video, you you basically got five to six seconds to hook them. So this is the new world. They will look at you, and you will be competing against other people online to show your work. And so as a project manager, how would you make the most compelling narrative online? That's going to be the new game. Um, because Hoffman says it is no longer about just showing your work history. It is about a personal brand that makes you stand out. And that's the whole point I've just been making. Like, how do you look compared to everybody else? So they don't care that you've been in project management for 15 years. They want to see your brand and they go, Ooh, I like this project manager more than I like this one based on essentially a preview. So that's really interesting. He goes on to predict that we shouldn't be freaking about freaking out about AI taking your job. We should be focusing on how to use AI to allow us to focus on the most important parts of our job. And this is the example. Lawyers who are currently using AI are already 200% more efficient because what they are simply doing is taking a lot of the paperwork and the clerical stuff and the, the, the menial tasks that are involved in a case and AI is stepping in for them. So they are able to focus on strategy and client relations. So this is a great example. Okay, as a lawyer, I don't need to be scared about AI. I've got to figure out how do I leverage AI so that I'm able to focus on the most important things. And for a lawyer, strategy and client relations are the game. That is what they are measured on. It's fascinating. Then he goes on to predict that the passion economy will create a lot of millionaires. And I love this example. This is fascinating. And <laughs> I don't know when the last time you heard this word forager. Okay. Even some of the younger audience might go, what in the world's a forager? Okay. But he uses the example of a forager who finds mushrooms. Now we're not talking about drugs. All right. So don't anybody freak out. Although I guess this is possible too. We're talking about rare mushrooms that people eat. So think about foodies. Okay. And I want you to think about the entire globe for just a second. And he uses the example, Hoffman says, a forager could earn as much as $200,000 a year by foraging for mushrooms in their little woods near their house. But because of AI and the ability to get online and sell it, they could sell those mushrooms literally around the world. And he's calling this the specialization. What's your deal? You're not going to believe this. I uh, find rare mushrooms, and uh, I've got a lot of restaurants. I got foodies all around the globe. I'm drop shipping mushrooms. Okay, now this is already happening. Okay, but the idea here is he's saying you get online and you create this profile, and you do a good job with this. And it's not about your resume; it's about your what you do and your specialization. And people that are looking for rare mushrooms to cook, they're coming your way. And so that essentially now, which is what we might have called a side hustle, or may call that now, becomes a full-on specialization. And so the freelancing now, which was a, I want to make a little money on the side, I want to make some extra money, freelancing now becomes your entire deal because of the way the world works. So why do I share this? I think you got to be ready for this. Upskilling, upskilling, upskilling. And then really carving out your niche and learning how to talk about it. Launch your tech career today at BethelTech.net slash Ken Coleman.